Hello, I am uh, DJ Pipeman, and I'd like to play with uh, LEGO Digital Designer. So, I am going to show you one of my projects that you've seen probably some pictures of if you follow me on Facebook. Um, this is my blockade runner slash dropship. It's got a... <coughs> Presumably some heavy uh, engines and firepower. And it carries this bad boy, a drop vehicle. And uh, a bunch of these parts are articulated to allow access and playability, I guess you could say. And just getting a good look at things as it is. There's uh, landing gear landing skids because it's a heavy freaking ship and if I could figure out how to make them more go up and down I would but it's very hard to get things to work the way they do with Lego Digital Designer it doesn't always understand what you're trying to do yeah, whereas you know what you're trying to do but it doesn't want to cooperate so here we have this opening, in case you're wondering, yes, it is designed for that. It is designed to carry that in its hole. And that is a cannon or missile launcher. Just depends on the mission, I guess. You outfit it before you go in the big ship, which I haven't gotten to. That would be something else entirely. Maybe that's my next project. Anyways, let's open this up. Boom. Boom. And now you go this way. And that is your hinge tool. So if you have a hinge, you can manipulate it using that tool. And there are lots of hinges in here. But as you can see, you can look down. Ah, oh, it's, it's blocked. Well, that's because it needs to seal when the vehicle is gone because I couldn't place another garage door. And yes, that is a garage door. Let's just take a look at it from this side. And you can't because freaking digital creator. Um, digital designer doesn't like it but there is a way to get past that and that is the hide tool let's open this up actually first boom boom yeah you see there's the garage door and it slides open and uh, that does fit in there with the garage door and everything included and that opens right there and they can climb in and out of it with freely maybe a little difficulty in real life but for the most part freely and we'll put this bad boy up You got your weapons, both sides, you got, I guess, uh, two techs on computers here, and you have a co-pilot, and a pilot, let's see, there we go. And here is the way if you're just getting off on the vehicle without the drop ship, this is how you would do it. Boom. And there's another one for this side. But that is your uh, drop ship. Then you have your 
very big engine and I had some fun with this and put this little hinge on it. This little hinge that can goes up. Boom. There's the engines. Well, at least closer components. You got meters and gauges and whatnot. This is not as detailed, but it is open in the front and it is powering a weapon. So you have an engine up front powering the weapon. And these are powered by the overall uh, combination of them all. And here's your drop vehicle. This will open. These will open. So you can see inside it. Put all your little guys in it. I am not going to do that. It is a pain in the butt on Digital Designer. But it is possible. As you can see, I've got people lined up. See this little computer? Well, kind of a computer. Maybe it's like a scope he's looking through. Navigator. But you see that? It folds up. Come on. Uh, no. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Come on. There it is. And straighten that out. And that will close flat. And there you go. People can get through through there and out here. Oh, you stupid thing. Oh, digital designer stop freaking out on me. Okay. There we go. There we go. No, I am not moving the whole thing. I am trying to open this hatch here. That opens just a little. There it is. And that opens too. That would actually be down like that inside the ship. And the garage door slides over this. That's how large this compartment over here had to be. You don't have to remove a dang thing off of this vehicle to fit it in there. It just drives right up. If the digital designer didn't freak out on me. And here's your engine compartments for the drop vehicle see do 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 that was nice and easy and then we got this turd it rotates and the cannon goes up and down of course it's limited in how much it can move and it can't move when it's inside it's just part of the arsenal for the Ford uh, moment or forward movement. Straight weapons in front of you, balls to the walls. Let's get it through. That's why it's a blockade runner because it has so much force firepower aiming directly in front of it. It doesn't have turrets. Uh, it's made to make a hole in defenses. In theory. And that's it. It's got this little missile module that can go instead of the guns, as I mentioned. And you just flick them. You flick these and it would shoot those out. I think most of y'all are familiar with those nowadays. Um, I really enjoyed building this. 
It's just uh, my own creation, or mock, as they like to call it. And uh, see, it's got structure. But again, I don't know how well it would hold up. It's got lots of braces going across it. Let's see, we can hide these panels. Let's see, this is all solid right there. You got pieces going up, across, even down here. And that's also the stop for the cannon. Right there. That's why it's there.